the question of 2008 may june paper 1 2 and the question number is 28 and it is uh, uh, concerned with uh, the stationary waves the diagram shows a stationary wave at time t equal to 0 which has been set up on a string fixed between points p and s so these are the fixed points the nodes of the stationary wave occur on the string at p q r and s so that means uh, our pattern of vibration will be like this P, Q, R, and S are always fixed, so that means the uh, session wave will be like this. So if I draw it properly, it will be like this, and here, like this, and again it will come somewhat like this, and then like this. Also, when it goes up, it will be when it go uh, up like this, so it will be coming down like this, up, and again down like this. So this is how the wave should be formed. So hope that uh, they are balanced. So point x is moving down at time t equal to 0. So at this time t equal to 0, the x point is moving down. So it has to go down here. The points on the string vibrate with time period t. So that means if uh, we consider a point here, point here, if uh, the time required by the point to com come from here to here and back here is, is a period t and the amplitude is, uh, as it says, maximum amplitude 2 cm so that means uh, this is 2 cm and uh, this is also 2 cm amplitude so the displacement s is positive in the upward direction so it says that the displacement in the upward direction is positive and the in downward direction it should be negative which graph best shows the variation with time t of the displacement s of the point y on the string so it asks us uh, the displacement of uh, point y on the string, point y. So as is evident from uh, this uh, graph here, all the points of this wave, all the points of this wave and the points of this wave are in exactly opposite phase. That means uh, if x is coming down here, all the points of this portion are going up. And similarly, all the points of this wave are coming down all the points of this wave are coming down at this moment at the moment so this means y is also coming down at the moment though it might have a smaller amplitude or whatsoever y is also descending at this moment now uh, <coughs> now what it says is what it says is uh, we have to uh, answer which graph best shows the variation with time t of the displacement s of the point y on the string? So according to time, we have to go for its displacement. So what happens here is, if this point has to come here, here, and again here, it takes time t. It takes time t. So if it has to come from here to here, it takes time t t by 2. So if it has to come from here to here and then here, it takes time t by 2. So that means the displacement increases, increases, becomes maximum and then decreases. So increases maximum and then decreases. And the displacement has to happen in negative direction because it says that is when yes is positive in the upward, so downward is negative. So <coughs> the negative means that this choice number C and choice number D, they disqualify because it says the displacement should be uh, displacement in the downward should be negative. Now, if it is point X or if it is point uh, this thing, this can reach the whole amplitude. So it can reach up to 2 cm and then descend. But here, this point cannot reach 2 cm. So it should be way below 2 cm, somewhere around half. Somewhere around half. So if we compare these two graphs, its amplitude reaches 2 cm, so it can't be the proper choice, and it reaches somewhere half, negative 2 cm, so this should be the proper choice. So choice number A is the correct answer to this question.